we want to use the method of proof by induction to prove for all natural numbers n greater than or equal to 1, 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus dot 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 plus n equals the product of n and n plus 1 all divided by 2. First, let's think inductively about this question. In fact, we know this is true for other reasons. For example, we found the formula on the right by using the method of reverse and add when determining the sum of the arithmetic sequence, 1 plus 2 plus 3, all the way out to plus n. But why might induction be applicable? The left-hand side adds up the numbers from 1 to n. If we know how to do that, adding just one more term, meaning n plus 1, would not be that hard. For example, if n equals 100, suppose you know that the sum of the first 100 numbers is 5,050, meaning 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus dot 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 plus 100 equals 5,050, which is true. Now to find the sum of the first 101 numbers, it makes more sense to just add 101 to 5,050 instead of computing the entire sum again. We would have 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus dot 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 plus 100 plus 101, which would be 5,050 plus 101, which equals 5,151. In fact, it would always be easier to add just one more term. This is why we use proof by induction. So to begin the proof, let P of n be the statement that we're trying to prove, which is 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus dot 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 plus n equals n times the quantity n plus 1 divided by 2. We will show that P of n is true for all natural numbers n greater than or equal to 1. Next, we consider the base case, which is P of 1. The statement P of 1 is 1 equals the product of 1 and the sum of 1 and 1 divided by 2, which is also 1, and therefore P of 1 is true. And now we consider the inductive case. Let k greater than or equal to 1 be a natural number, and we assume that P of k is true, where P of k is the same statement as P of n, except we use k instead of n, which is 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus dot 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 plus k equals the product of k and the quantity k plus 1 divided by 2. We will prove that P of the quantity k plus 1 is also true. That is, we will prove that 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus dot 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 plus k plus the quantity k plus 1 equals the product of k plus 1 and k plus 2 all divided by 2. If you're wondering where this formula came from on the right, if we go back to the statement given by P of k, we replace k with k plus 1. So this k becomes k plus 1, and this k plus 1 becomes k plus 1 plus 1, which is k plus 2. To prove this equation, we start by adding k plus 1 to both sides of the equation given by P of k, which is the inductive hypothesis. So this gives us 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus dot 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 plus k plus the quantity k plus 1 equals k times the quantity k plus 1 divided by 2 plus the quantity k plus 1. And now for the rest of the proof, we need to show that the right side of this equation can be written in the form of the quantity k plus 1 times the quantity k plus 2 divided by 2. So now focusing on the right side, we'll now multiply the quantity k plus 1 by 2 over 2 so that we have a common denominator. And now we can add the two fractions together, which in the numerator gives us k times the quantity k plus 1 plus 2 times the quantity k plus 1 all over 2. Now looking at the two products in the numerator, notice how there's a common factor of k plus 1. If we factor out the k plus 1, notice how we're left with a factor of k plus 2, which we can write as the quantity k plus 2 times the quantity k plus 1 all divided by 2, which is what we needed to show to prove that p of the quantity k plus 1 is true. Thus, p of the quantity k plus 1 is true, so by the principle of mathematical induction, p of n is true for all natural numbers, n greater than or equal to 1. I hope you found this helpful.